crescendo, decrescendo. These are just two of the terms we use to describe changes in emotional intensity in music. And we also use terms like forte and piano, and all manner of mezzos and isimos on either side of those and in between them, not just to indicate a level of loudness, but also to achieve a certain tone color or timbre from each instrument. All of these terms loosely translate into some degree of loud, soft, get louder, get softer, and so on. But when a performer on any orchestral instrument is asked to play louder, say, to play a crescendo, they're not just, you know, turning up the volume on their instrument by blowing into it or bowing it with more force or striking it harder with their fingers or a mallet. With one exception, and that's the harpsichord. All orchestral instruments share a common characteristic when it comes to dynamics. The harder they're played, the sound not only gets louder in volume, but it also gets brighter. And of course, as an instrument is played softer, the volume is lower, but the sound is also duller. Not only can we hear this for ourselves, but we can see it for ourselves too. This is really cool. What you're looking at here is an EQ with a built-in frequency analyzer that I'm using to expose the components of this note. The big bump over here shows us the fundamental or root pitch of the note, and all the hash that appears above it are the higher frequencies, the partials, the harmonics, which constitute the brightness components of the sound. Here's another example, this one being a sample of a French horn section playing a crescendo. So whether it's a solo bass clarinet or a room full of French horn players, their instruments share the common characteristic of becoming both louder and brighter as the dynamic level increases. Unfortunately for us, Many of the sampled instruments we use can't or don't produce the full natural range of timbral variations that we'd get from real instruments playing over the full range between the isimos. And having to produce music within these limitations can restrict our ability to express our musical intentions as well as strain at the credibility of the sound of our mock-ups. Here's an example. So, okay, what's wrong with this picture? Well, this piece may sound legit in that it's played in a way that's idiomatic for guitar, and occasionally there are some guitar-like clues such as fret buzz. But anyway, here's what's going on. In this first measure, there's a whole slew of notes here where I played with increasing velocities, a crescendo. And sure, the volume increases slightly during those notes, but the timbre of the sound doesn't get any brighter or more intense as you'd expect to hear from a real guitar. And the same thing happens in the second measure too. Now in the third measure, things get noisy because I'm playing hard enough to trigger a set of samples that have lots of string buzz in them. So that part sounds pretty legit. And the last measure sounds okay because I didn't do a severe decrescendo where I would have expected to hear a more delicate tone at the end if this was played on a real guitar. So with those things in mind, have another listen. Playing instrumental sounds louder and softer without hearing a commensurate change in the timbre is a common problem when using sample libraries. And the reason this doesn't sound 100% convincing is because you, me, and probably everybody else on the planet has heard this kind of guitar part before, so we've already got it imprinted in our mind's ear what a guitar should sound like when it's played at varying dynamic levels. And the reason this mock-up has a credibility problem is because the brain isn't easily fooled into thinking that changes in volume without a commensurate change in timbre sounds quite right. 
It's no different from adjusting the volume on your radio when you're listening to the weather report. If you crank up the volume, your brain's not going to translate that into the meteorologist <laughs> yelling the forecast at you. And likewise, turning down the volume isn't going to make his voice sound like it's whispering. And now the weather forecast for Los Angeles County. This morning it'll be mostly sunny, sunny this afternoon, and this evening, sunny at night. Over the course of the next several tutorials, we're going to explore the world of dynamics with a focus on how to overcome some of the expressive limitations we face when using sampled instruments.